Hi viewers, this is your derailment guide, Gurjit Singh. Just two, three days back, I got a call that there is a derailment on a three degree curve in one of the foreign railways. And uh, the speed of the train at which it was traveling was reported to be 20 kmph, which comes out to 5.5 meter per second. And what happens, uh, you know, the moment we have the track readings recorded jointly and just going through one or two readings, uh, the decision is declared. The prima facie cause lies on uh, variation of superelevation, this and that, without going into the details, without considering the cantronin, cantronod, what are the permissible limits and all that. Nobody bothers for it. Well, this was also a similar case wherein uh, it was uh, reported to be uh, giving the prima facie cause on uh, variation of the super elevation. So, what I did, uh, I converted the readings which were in FPS system to MKS system in millimeters and then I tried to just analyze it on uh, the basis of what we have got and what is the change of Kent Vagera run in and run out. So these are the, uh, uh, I mean, uh, super elevation and uh, on this side I have plotted uh, about, uh, about 90 feet. There were about 10 readings so the graph was short so I made it on uh, 90 feet, I mean 9 stations, 3 meter apart. They have 10 feet apart, hardly matters. And then what I did, I just plotted uh, the super elevation. This is the point of drop, zero station, and the super elevation is 82.5 millimeter. And then the next station is 114. The next station again, 114, 116, 116, 114, 114, 114, 114. And the ninth station also, it had 114. So now, this is the area from where the train has traveled and derailed over here. Now what we have to see, the speed per second is 5.5 meter. So now this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.5. So here the super elevation is again 114, right? So is there any change of Kent? No, because from 114 in per second, in one second it has traveled 5.5 and it did not negotiate any change of Kent. Okay, now let us see for the next 5.5. So it's 0, here it's 2, again here it's 2 millimeter and now this is the station where it derailed and see the maximum change of Kent it has traveled is only and only 31.8. So every second we have calculated for the 9 station, for the first second it traveled 5.5, in the another second it traveled 5.5, another second 5.5, another second 5.5 and it has negotiated a change of Kent of maximum up to 31.8. And what is the permissible in that railway? It's 45 mm per second. So 31.8 is far less than 45 mm per second permissible. So this variation in the super elevation is within the permissible prescribed limit for that particular railway. Hence, this is not attributed towards the cause of derailment. Well, friends, this was all what I wanted to share with you. So stay blessed, keep going, feel stronger and always counter all the challenges with the base of the given provisions in the way maintenance manual thank you thank you once again for watching my video bye bye